Hi everybody, it's Wynn. Hey guys, it's Daniel. Hi, it's Kim Kim. My name's Little Bronwyn. Hello everyone, it's Ed. Hi everybody, it's Kit. And welcome to another video by The Entropy System. Hello everybody, it is Ed, and I'm going to be opening some letters today. We have a letter from El Paso that I imagine was supposed to get to us by Halloween, um, because it's covered with adorable stickers of pumpkins and ghosts. Dear Entropy System, this is my first fan letter ever, so yay. Oh. I both love and respect the YouTube content you all put out. I may not have DID, however, I have depression and anxiety that make life hard to live. How, uh... After having to quit school a second time, I spend a lot of time at home with YouTube as company. I relate to videos discussing dissociation online a lot, and I feel better by it. I'm sending two pairs of earrings, one necklace, a pom-pom keychain, and a butterfly sticker. I hope all of these items arrive safely. I hope every member of your system is doing well. Also, if anxiety is ever keeping any of you down, I suggest a squishy toy. They're often softer than a stress toy, so squishing it is, better, is a better experience. They're cute and sometimes smell nice. I hope you all have an awesome day, and if anyone in the system wants to be friends with a 28-year-old Mexican-American that lives in Texas, I'm always available for a chat. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. This is from, from Lulu. That's very, very sweet of you, Lulu. Thank you. I'm honored that you, uh, that we are your first fan letter. So let's take a peek. I was wondering, I was very confused when I opened this because there was lots of, uh, crumpled paper. I was like, did they, did they rip up the letter before they sent it? But it seems that that's to keep everything safe. So we have a pair of butter, oh no, is it a pair? It's one butterfly sticker that's like 3D. And it is very, very close to the system pride flag colors. So that's quite fun. A little pom-pom keychain, which I'm sure will be great uh, for stimming and calming down the system. You know, a nice texture to play with. This looks like a pair of earrings. Oh, that's quite cute. They are uh, little metal uh, hearts, and they have little, uh, like, patch sewn onto them, as if it was a broken heart that is now repaired. Here we have an entropical fish. Absolutely beautiful. Very obviously handmade with lots of love. This is spectacular. And we have a second pair of earrings uh, that are very cute donuts with pink frosting and little blue sprinkles. That is absolutely precious. I know that uh, the girls are going to love these. According to your letter, those are all the gifts that you sent and you will be happy to know that they all arrived very safely in good condition. Um, and I absolutely adore all of them. I'm gonna take and put this sticker on our little mailbox right now. Many of you send stickers. We also collect stickers, so we've got stickers on our box of mail. And now, Lulu, your sticker. Oh, can I get it off safely? Perhaps, here we go. Your sticker is now a part of the box. Now we have an envelope coming in from New York. Oh goodness, there's quite a lot in this one. Entropy, read me first. <laughs> the official seal of giving 110%. That's very cute. Look at, that, look at that fun, oh that's fun. Hello Entropy System, I haven't been watching your channel for long, but I have binged all of them except for the live streams. I've gushed about the OCD video already on YouTube and Twitter, so I won't gush again. I did want to say how much I appreciate your DID and media series. I wish there were series like that for other conditions too. Turn me over. If Daniel ever wants to read any books with asexual characters, I have plenty. I did my senior project on asexual characters in media and I didn't know about your channel then. I just wanted to find characters like me. I've included some gifts with sticky notes saying more about them. Much love and best witches and best witches I can't speak. Much love and best wishes, Kitty. 
The sticky notes all say WTF, which is lovely. This poster came with a puzzle I bought. Since I have the puzzle, I thought Kim Kim might like the poster. We have the evolutions. If anyone says that they don't like the evolutions, they're probably lying. Stickers, they say, they say for diaries, but I'm sure you can put them on other things. I thought the littles might like them. Well, that's fun, they've got puffy unicorn stickers and with shooting star rainbows and clouds that say, be a unicorn. Oh, and then some lovely hand-done artwork. I didn't design any of these pages. They're from a coloring book. I did color them all. Dates are when they were uh, finished. This tree makes me think of the Tree of Life. I'm not entirely sure why, but it makes me think of Wynne. She is a big fan of the Tree of Life and all that um, New Agey stuff. But it's colored very nicely. I named this one Soft Spring. I find it really pretty, and I thought you might too. It is quite lovely. This one is Purple Spring, one of my favorite colorings I've done, and I hope you like it. Your use of color is very, very good on these. They're all very, like, well-balanced and relaxed. I tried to use System Pride colors here, but the brown accent really completed it. I mostly colored these while finishing summer classes. I didn't know what to do with them until now. Enjoy. That is very cool, and I think I agree. The brown does really help round out the image and bring it all together, so I think you made a good color choice there. These are all very, very lovely. I appreciate you sending them to us. Thank you all for your generous gifts and your words of encouragement. It reminds us why we do what we do. It's great to have a community like the Entropical Fish. You all have a lovely day. Goodbye. Hey guys, it's Wynn, and it's time for an unboxing. You guys continue to spoil us. <laughs> all right, we have whew, three items today. I'm gonna go smallest to largest. First, we've got this little cute purple package um, from Emma in Brooklyn. We've got a couple little boxes in here. We've got three little boxes in here. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Ah, there is also a letter. Good thing I checked. Hi, I'm a fan of your channel and I find it so, so important to have such a real human glance into the life of DID. As a teenager struggling myself with various mental health diagnoses, though not DID in particular, it has helped me significantly to have Wynn as a healing adult role model, as well as a resource for myself and those in my life to understand the intricacies of mental health treatment and functionality, as we are all often confused and disoriented by episodes during which the me, with whom they are familiar, isn't present or in control. I've had that odd sort of, I've never met you before, but you're a virtual figure in my life, admiration for all of the altars in your system, so I felt that I might as well reach out and share with you a physical gesture of thanks. Although I'm a student at a traditional high school, I'm often housebound for weeks to months, during which I center myself by making little trinkets that I sell on my Etsy store, Bead Seeds 108. Being an aerospace engineering major, my school is weird. <laughs> I'm fascinated by the physics of magnetism and the concept of entropy, so I've been working on integrating these interests into jewelry. Thus emerged my line of entropy jar necklaces filled with substrate, glitter in most cases, in a contrasting color and iron fillings. As they are worn, these components mix, but they sort in the presence of a magnetic field that I've found to be quite satisfying sensory experience of essentially playing with pretty magnets. That's, oh my god, oh my god, that's the coolest thing ever. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna finish reading the letter, but I'm really excited to see these jars. Inspired quite a bit by the personality of your channel, I added a multiplicity color to represent, well, multiplicity in the form of coexistence and integration represented by the various colors of glitter, as opposed to the simpler cl colors in my other entropy jars. As such, I've included three colors of these multiplicity extras to give away and use however you please, as well as a unique one inspired by your awesome hair. I hope you enjoy these little gifts. Thank you so much for your presence, Emma. Okay, Emma, your love for science is awesome. Um, as a fellow science lover, it's so exciting to hear about a high schooler who's really passionate about this stuff, you know, because most people like in high school tend to make fun of math and science. Uh, so that's really cool. I'm, I'm glad that you can look to me as an adult role model. You know, high school is hard. Like, going to school with mental health problems is hard. So, you know, I hope that you can look at me and know it does get better. It is possible to cope and heal. Um, 
And I'm just gonna throw this out as a personal note, you sound cool as hell. This is very cool. So we've got like rainbow glitter, and another one with rainbow glitter, which is a great way to represent multiplicity if you ask me. Ooh, and this one's red. Oh, I like that. And that one's another gorgeous rainbow color. Like these are very, very cool, and very, very pretty. And I don't have a magnet on me, but even just by themselves, these are gorgeous. Thank you so much, these are really cool. And if you guys wanna check out her Entropy uh, necklaces, um, here's her uh, Etsy that she mentioned. Um, these are just really pretty, I like these. Next, we have a big old package from, uh, there's not a first name on here, and I don't wanna just list a last name, so I'm just gonna open this up and we'll see what's inside. It's from Bundaberg, QLD. I don't know what QLD is. I don't know what country that is. I'm sorry. I feel awful. This entropy system, a gift of gratitude from one system to another, an appreciation for opening your life to others, or to help others with DID. Kind regards, uh, Yulri. We hope you like it. We hope it fits. OXO. It says, we are, a sof whoop. we are a sophisticated and intelligence defense mechanism, dissociative identity disorder, with the system pride flag. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Uh. <laughs> and it looks like uh, this is exactly my size. So it's gonna fit perfectly. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Lastly, we have a big old box. There is a lot of stuff in here. Let's do the letter first. Letters. Letters, plural. Ooh, uh, the person who sent this box asked me not to share name and location, but they sent me, different members of their system sent me a bunch of letters that are just beautiful. Um, they've got like, some of them have, one of them has stickers. They're all so like personal and lovely. So thank you so much. Um, and this is like a, a big hefty box, so Let's dig in. All right, we've got little origami star earrings. Oh my God, that's cute as hell. Okay, so the letter said that this was cozy winter stuff and they weren't lying, oh my God. <laughs> okay. This is just a bunch of warm drinks. We've got tea and hot cocoa and some kinds of coffee, a couple kinds of coffee. And, oh, warm drinks are my favorite comfort thing. Uh, I guess warm liquid, either warm drinks or warm bath. Favorite comfort thing. This is so good. This is gonna be so great. We've got, oh, oh my God, they're so soft. Little arm warmers with hand warmers. Oh my god! And a little winter Pokemon mug! I say little, it's huge. This is huge. This is gonna hold so much coffee. <laughs> but look, they're so cozy with their little hats. Ah! And then we have some stuff for the litter littles. We've got uh, some glittery slime. Karen loves slime. So this is gonna be so good for her. Glittery colored pencils and a, a coloring book, which is going to be awesome, just I think for everybody in the system. We've got rosemary mint lip balm, like the biggest lip balm I think I've ever seen. I get very dry lips in the winter and it's going to be very hard to lose this. <laughs> so this is going to be very handy. We've got a book by David Almond called Skellig. I think I've heard of this book. It's supposed to be really good. So this will be really nice for cold days inside. And what is this? That's so, oh, oh my God, that's so pretty. It took me a second. I was like, oh, that's a really pretty abstract colors. And then I saw it's this girl holding, like reaching out and a butterfly is coming down. That's so pretty. Oh my goodness. This box was so thoughtful and full of so much love. I just can't even handle it right now. Um, goodness gracious, thank you so much. I can't say your name because you asked me not to, but you know who you are. 
Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Obviously I'm opening this a little late. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, it's a family photo. Your family is so beautiful. Entropy system. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love Amanda Scott and Eli. Oh, and we got some Christmas stickers. The little elf you can dress up and I can uh, not candy cane, gingerbread house to decorate. Oh, that's fun. Thank you so much. All right, next one. Amazon package. All right, we have a gift from Sarah. Box. Box. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's a microphone setup. We got two microphone clips, a big poofy microphone cover. Yeah, no, this is, we just put this on our Amazon wish list because the video that I'm about to do a voiceover for uh, just turned out trash because we didn't have proper audio equipment. So thank you so very much for supporting the channel in this way and helping us to, to get, you know, produce more pro uh, quality content. Hi everybody, it's Wynn, and I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. So I've got two things today. Um, I'm gonna open this envelope first. It is from Ivan in New Hampshire. Hello Entropy System members one and all. I'm just writing a quick note to you all praising the wonderful content as well as the nurturing safe community you're creating. You've done a lot, and not just for the DID community, you've made the world a better place by being in it. Thank you, Ivan. Oh my god, thank you. P.S. I promise to someday write more, because as someone who for over a quarter of a century has worked with kids who, among other things, are often dealing with a traumatic past, and some unfortunately present, I could list the important things you have all done for spreading awareness of mental stresses. P.P.S. As a new patron, I hope my small sum could do some good to keep you all going on YouTube. Thank you, Ivan, so much. And with his small letter to us is a long letter to Leto, um, which I'm not going to read out loud, but was offering a lot of, of very, a lot of validation and comfort to Leto in his struggle right now. Um, so thank you very, very much for those kind words. It's, it means a lot to him and it means a lot to us. All right, next we have Amazon package. It looks like it's something adorable. <gasps> I was right! Hi Entropy, I know you guys dress as macrophage in October, so when I saw this I thought of you guys immediately. I've never sent anything to a stranger or YouTube before, so I hope you all like it. Have a great day! Autumn! Alright, so this is fantastic because it is a macrophage cell cosplaying as a macrophage character <laughs> in Cells at Work. And I saw this online. I was like, wow, that's so funny and cute. And now I own it. Thank you, Autumn. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Kim Kim. Okay, so we got a letter. Um, this person sent us a letter before. Um, really just kind of like rooting Leto on and like encouraging him to be his own person and stuff when he had been considered uh, considering integrating or fusing. And this is kind of an apology letter. Uh, I guess he saw my Twitter post about like how I was frustrated that people were disparaging. It seemed like people were disparaging Leto for his choice. Um, and this letter kind of explains that he had a limited understanding of what fusion was um, and, what, and is apologizing for reacting in a way that he would with like a person at risk of self-harm or something like that. Um, and the last, like, I thought that the fact that first he sent the first letter and then he sent this letter is very, very sweet. Um, but the PS at the end says, don't worry, I promise not to do any more letters. I've learned my lesson. Um, no, <laughs> no, you are being sincere and lovely. And like, did I handle the whole situation poorly? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did that little rant on Twitter or whatever, and when kind of goes over like my own emotional journey with that, um, and like the guilt that I felt and the frustration and stuff like that, um, and a person cannot be expected to know about stuff like this unless they know. It's not something you just inherently understand, and I should have been more understanding about that, and I'm sorry that I made you feel bad for reaching out to us. Please don't stop sending letters. Your letters are so heartfelt and so lovely. And I was in a bad place and I didn't mean to make you feel attacked by my Twitter post and I'm super sorry. We appreciate that you guys 
want to encourage us and that you feel attached to us in that way. So, there's that. If you guys are interested in sending anything to our P.O. Box, that P.O. Box address is in the description below. We love, you know, just thoughtful gifts or handwritten letters, all of the above. You guys are so sweet to us, uh, and we we love hearing from you. We keep every single letter you've sent from, from the day we opened our P.O. Box, um, and we are just going to continue to keep them forever. And remember, you are loved, you are valuable, and you are valid. Bye! sign off I'd like to thank Elizabeth and all of our patrons for supporting our channel and helping us do what we do on a weekly basis. You guys are awesome, you make these videos possible, you help us create better content every day. Also I want to remind you guys about the Entitled to Life conference in November in San Francisco hosted by Twab Magazine. And if you can't attend in person that's totally okay. You can get an e-ticket and watch the exclusive stream on Zoom. We're super excited to be there and we can't wait to meet you.